It's bedtime, Henry. And it's scaring Peter. No, it's not. He's enjoying it as much as I am, aren't you, Peter? Nonsense. Look at him. He's terrified. But that's the whole point. Bedtime now. Don't be horrid, Henry. Henry, bed now. I don't know how you can watch this stuff. Sleep. Very funny, Henry. What did you do that for? You shouldn't be reading this stuff just before bed. Why not? It's only gross. Exactly. Night, Henry. Night, Mum. This had better be good. I need my beauty sleep, you know. OK, you know you're dreaming when someone steps forward from the shadows. All right, then. What's all this about? Peter's been captured. Captured? Yes, and we agree. You know like telling the rest, Ted. Did we? to tell him up to the bit about the happy hippos and... The happy hippos? What have they got to do with this? And then you were going to tell him the bit about... Ahem. That's my bit, Ted. Oh, right. Sorry, Miss Battleaxe. <coughs> Miss Battleaxe? In my garden? In the middle of the night? This so is a dream. Ouch! What did you do that for? To show you you're not dreaming. Are you ready, Henry? To do your duty. Duty? Your duty as a big brother, Henry. Something tells me this isn't going to be good. Peter's been captured by the happy hippos, and the only way we can get him back is by going on tour of the school. No way. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. No one ever wins on too cool for school. I did, Henry. Yes, but that was a long time ago, and. Please tell me I'm dreaming. What are you doing here? Stepping out of the shadows. Oh, what is it with you lot? You've all been watching too many movies. Whatever. I'm here to make sure that you do what you're being asked to do. Oh, yeah. And how are you going to do that? By mocking you and saying that you're too much of a scaredy cat to go on too cool for school anyhow. Oh, yeah. Works every time. <laughs> oh, you've got your cuddly toy, Henry. Lion's natural habitat. Oh, it could have escaped from a zoo. Hmm, good point. There's no mountain lion. Are you having a laugh, Henry? No, look, it's on this side. <laughs> oh, it's still not there, Henry. You were too slow. It's gone. What a great day! Soggy Sid had to cancel the lesson because nobody had their swimming costumes. <laughs> Ralph, you're really pathetic. Oh, yeah? Well, this will really scare you. The school rang my mum. We've got an extra swimming lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow? And we're doing our badges. <laughs> Five point three. Five.
5.5. Ten past eight, Henry. Time for school. Swimming today. <sighs> Keep this to yourself, Andrew. A shark just escaped from the aquarium. <gasps> A shark? Yes, a super intelligent mutant shark! And it's headed this way, so stay alert! Oh, Henry says there might be a sh sh shark in our pool! Sharks are salt water creatures, they don't like chlorine! I don't like chlorine, but I still swim in it! Hmm, good point! <laughs> That's not even as good as the werewolf! I'm just warming up! <laughs> I'm going for my 1,000 metres today. <laughs> right, you lot. Get in the pool. Henry, don't tell me. Sorry, sir. I can't swim today because... Enough excuses, Henry, you horrible child. I don't care if you've got a slight touch of leprosy or bubonic plague. You're swimming today. Get changed now. I'd love to, sir, but uh, unfortunately I've forgotten my trunks. Spare costumes. Put one on. I can't wear any of these! I won't! Get changed! It's so easy being me! I'm <laughs> Why aren't you in bed? <laughs> Spite <-o> <laughs> <laughs> Look, Peter, that was huge! Really hairy and horrible and wriggly and... Get rid of them! If I risk my life and get rid of the spiders, can I watch Mutant Max? Yes. And stay up till my parents come home? Yes. And eat all the ice cream in the fridge? Yes, just get rid of that... that... <clears throat> thing! Deal! I think I'll take them to school tomorrow. Right, back to bed, both of you, now! Uh, we agreed! Tough! Deal's off! A oh, simple thank you would have been nice. If the deal's off, you can have the spiders back. <laughs> Henry, maybe you should stop. It's not nice to scare others. She broke her promise! True. Grown-ups shouldn't make promises and not keep them. Let me out! Let me out right now! Freedom! Take that, you repellent, repulsive, repugnant, reptilian rat! Mash it, Mutant Max! Parents! Coming, ready or not! Right, you little worm! I'm going to take you apart limb by limb! Henry? <gasps> I was just leaving. Oh, you poor things. Oh, what a mess. Well, we certainly won't be having her to babysit again. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, don't we? <laughs> Not in my lifetime. It's so easy being me. I'm Know why Mum bothers? You can't lock up the kid. Two more days and we clean up. <laughs> Henry, what huh? do you think you're doing? Having a bedtime snack? Oh, Henry, I don't want you to die. Get off. Uh, don't die, please, don't die. Peter, uh, what's the matter? The, the, Gizmo is cursed, and Henry took it so I'd be saved, but now he's going to die! Henry, how could you be so horrid? Give Peter back his gizmo or there'll be no TV for a week. 
But I need it for my auction! Henry! I want a gold gizmo! Here. Um, spaghetti, condensed milk, baked beans. Oh, Henry, I'm going to the supermarket. Do you want anything? You can't go! Uh, not yet! Why not? Because uh, I want to go with you, but I can't go until... until... until I clean my room. You want to clean your room? <laughs> I can wait for that. Lovely will be here soon to talk about the school play costumes. Miss Lovely? Oh, goody. Let's make the box into a little cottage just for her. Now, I'm just popping next door for a minute, so Henry, behave. Oh, we could um, cut out windows here, paint flowers and... No! Don't you touch my box. It's a time machine, you toad. It is not. It's made of cardboard and a new washing machine came in it. If it looked like a time machine, everyone would try and steal it. Don't you know anything? It's in disguise. No! It's top secret! Well, if it is a time machine, then I want to have a go. You can't. You're too young. I'm not. And I don't believe you anyway. Then watch this. I'll prove it's a time machine by travelling to the future. Stand back. You don't want to get scorched by the Vortex Blast. I don't believe you're going to the future. Whoa! The Vortex! Ah! Into the future! Henry? Have you really gone? Wow! It really is a time machine! <laughs> what if he is stuck in the future? What if he never comes back? I could watch whatever I want on TV! Wow! <gasps> Where am I? Henry? Peter, I've been to the future. But you're old. Yes, 
Yes, I went to the 23rd century. I met my great-great-great-grandson. He still lives in this house and he looks just like me. So he's ugly? What did you say? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, but what's it like in the future, Henry? Horrible. Uh, I mean, horrible. It's so easy being me. I'm horrible, Henry. Hey, Henry. I bet you you lost Gummy Fuzzball or you win. Fuzzball? Fuzzball? You break up! That's it! Sweets! Want it. Yes! 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 Well yeah. done, Henry! You are the school's new 400 metres champion! <laughs> I can't go in there. I can't tell Mum I didn't win anything. She's going to be so disappointed in me. Here, Worm. So are this. But this is your trophy. No, this is my trophy. That's the egg and spoon one. <gasps> you took it. The race was cancelled. Why would they need it? It's yours. Oh. For two weeks' pocket money. Uh, uh, deal! Peter! I knew you'd win again! Mwah. Henry? Oh, Henry! Mwah. Well done, the pair of you! Like Peter said, it's not the winning that counts, it's how you play the game. Competition if you haven't started blubbering. Mum! And that's not all. What's a perfect day? Not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter by. <laughs> not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? Stinky again. All thanks to you, you snivelling toad. So, where is Mr. Kill? Mom! Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that! What have you done with Mr. Kill? I haven't done Honest. What are you doing? You leave that alone! I really don't want to do this, but you've left me no choice. Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know! Last chance! <gasps> <gasps> what 
What have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess! Not Peter. You, Henry. Me? He's the thief. He took Mr Kill. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother, too? And your father. And me. You, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there. It's so easy being me. I'm hard.